Hi, I'm Liz Moser, Mayo Clinic and National Board Certified Health and Wellness Coach. The kickoff call with my new clients takes about an hour and a half, and it's about discovering the information they need to create their wellness visions. My clients hire me because they desire a healthier lifestyle. Usually they want support and accountability around their nutritional habits. So they have an idea about what they desire or want more or less of in their lives while usually being a little bit fuzzy about their values or strengths. During our initial 90 minute call, we explore how their values align with their goals, their unique strengths or abilities to make those goals a reality. And despite their certainty about their purpose for coaching, I still invite them to go deeper and explore what they want more of or less of in their lives or what they desire. Before the coaching call, <clears throat> I send my clients several worksheets to explore their values, strengths, and desires. In the first video of this series, I shared the values worksheet with you where you explored what's essential to you. In part two, you used the strengths worksheet to examine your areas of confidence or the skills you use to overcome challenges. Last week in part three, we examined your desires and what you want more or less of in your life using the domain satisfaction scale. And today in part four, the last installment in this series, we will examine the info you gathered from vlogs one, two, and three, and then we'll synthesize all of that into your wellness visions. The Mayo Clinic defines a wellness vision as a compelling statement that describes you at your most actualized self. It defines what you truly desire and how you live when you're at your most aligned with your values and purpose. The vision may include behaviors, actions, strengths, feelings, relationships, or a metaphor or visual image for comparison. The wellness vision should give you confidence, energy, and authentication in your desired changes. Another way you can describe the process of writing out your wellness vision is that you are designing your treasure map. On the map is an arrow saying you are here, just like at the mall. You discovered where you are by exploring your values, strengths, and current life satisfaction via the domain satisfaction scale. With the next step, creating your wellness vision, you will place an X on your map. That X represents your vision goals or your treasure, so to speak. Your wellness vision is both an expression of where you are now and your desired future. In the video description below, you'll find the handout I supply to my clients called the Wellness Vision Explanation and Examples. And here it is. Um, as you look at the sheet, you'll see several examples of visions. One is rather complex with several bullet points. And the last one is just one word, freedom. I had one client who created an Excel spreadsheet for his wellness vision. Yes, <laughs> I'm not, I am sure you would not be surprised to find out he is a retired engineer. Um, however, most of my clients create a short paragraph or two that describes them at their best selves. The point is to create a wellness vision that expresses your unique set of values, strengths, and desires. Okay, so now I invite you to pause the video, take a few minutes, and look over the wellness vision example sheet. Welcome back. I'm going to assume you pause the video and peruse the wellness vision examples. So let me ask you, which visions or excerpts of a vision resonated with you and why? When you look at these examples, can you see each person's values, strengths, and desires reflected in their visions? And lastly, are you chomping at the bit to start your vision? Well, or maybe not. Maybe you're feeling a little intimidated or overwhelmed. If so, trust me, that's understandable. And if you're feeling a little overwhelmed, let me walk you through my process on a more detailed level. So after the kickoff call with my clients, I take all the info we discussed and type up a short, usually two page document, fleshing out their values, strengths, and desires, or what they specifically want out of coaching. And I create a sample wellness vision for them. They then take my notes and ideas and either edit my wellness vision, or in some cases, just scrap it entirely and start over. Either way, I urge my clients to create a vision 
that resonates with them and then that becomes the foundation for the next three months of our coaching. So I suggest you review your worksheets from the last few weeks, check out the sample visions and take a crack at writing one for yourself. Or if you're feeling a little intimidated or confused, then take that intermediate step of writing up one document that lists your salient values, strengths, and desires before starting your wellness vision. So in sum, your wellness vision needs to express your core values. It should inspire you to act and it should highlight your strengths or how you uniquely will achieve your goals. And hey, don't forget, it can also be as simple as one word, such as authenticity, kindness, or freedom. I'm Liz Moser, a Mayo Clinic and National Board Certified Health and Wellness Coach, and thank you for watching this final vlog in a four-part series about creating your wellness visions. If you have any questions about this vlog, about health and wellness, or wellness coaching with me, please reach out via my website at lizmosercoaching.com. Bye for now, be well, and I will see you next week with a brand new video.